welcome guys to this training. You're going to start by lying down, so get ready for this 20 minute core Pilates workout. So you're going to start with lying down on your back and I want you to get comfortable and then we're going to see if we can draw all the way up. Extend the legs and lower one by one and then slowly lower both of them together before coming all the way down. We're going to do 10 of these, so just focus on the breath. this one okay and then we're gonna go in the other direction so take that breather and then straighten those legs up when you're ready and then we're gonna come to the other rotation for ten nine eight good seven six five four doing really well three two well done, really strong. Take a little breather, just reset, and then we're gonna straighten those legs back out again when you're ready. Now we're just going to reach for the toes, so just focus on reaching. Good, last five, four, three, two, and one. Good, nice stretch. From here, we're just going to reach up and extend both the arms and the legs. Focus on keeping that spine nice and neutral. Exhale as you reach forward. Inhale as you open out. And just keep the legs at the depth that feels good for your lower back. So if you need to keep the legs a little bit higher, you can do so. Last few. Doing really well. Relax. 
bit of lots of kicks. Focus on keeping that spine nice and neutral, keeping the thighs engaged, breathing nice and deeply. Rest whenever you want to rest. No force here. And tuck those knees in. Totally relaxed. Well done. Take a nice deep breath in. Really strong. From here, just doing nice wide scissors. Again, just finding the depth that feels good for you. And keep those legs a little bit higher if you need to. My upper core is engaged. I'm totally relaxed. From here, you're going to lift those legs up to the sky, doing these nice reverse circles. Good. Final six. Keeping the quads engaged. Five. Four. Last four. Totally relax, breathe up. We're going to do hip lifts now where you're going to rotate those hips. So we're going to start with rotation of the hips to the right or to the left, whatever feels more comfortable for you. I'm rotating my hips slightly when I take my feet up to the sky. So you can see I'm just slightly tilting my hips towards you guys. Keeping my spine nice and neutral. Just tilting my hips, pushing that left hip towards you. Take a breather. We're going to do that on the other side. So other rotation for a count of 10, for a rep of 10. Now I'm just tilting the other way. Good. Nine. Eight. Tiny little movement, but really impactful. Really strong, keeping that core nice and engaged. Last few. Well done, totally relaxed. Okay, so hands behind the head. Now we're going to draw both feet up together and we're going to really just focus on really pulling up that tailbone off the floor so elbows to knees if you want to and you can take those feet wider out across the mat if you want to feel this more keeping that spine really neutral using that breath totally relaxed and now we're going to go for a rotation again hands behind the head, pull the knees in to the side and you extend out and so we're rotating, really focus on the rotation of the core, again you can lower those legs a little bit higher or lower, whatever feels good for you, just focus on keeping the hip, hips up, using that breath, doing really well, resting whenever you want to rest guys. No force, okay, you don't have to keep going with this the entire time, doing really well. You've got a few more. Take your own pace, there's no rush. Tap in and tap out whenever it feels good for you. Take that breather now. We're gonna take the arms and legs nice and wide on the floor like a big starfish. And we're gonna just bring that hand to the leg, across the body for a count of 10 on each side. Good, eight. Seven, good. six, five, four, last three, two, and one. Good, relax, and then we're going to swap over. Ten, nine, eight, good. Seven, six, five, four, well four. Three, two, and one. Really strong. Take that little bit of a breather, and then we're going to come all the way up. So you're going to come onto all fours, 
but we're going to come into some military presses. So you're going to start in plank, you're going to come to your elbows and then you're going to push up. That's already one. I'm going to go for ten. Two. See how I'm alternating my arms. It's natural that you're going to want to go with the arm that feels strongest, but just see if you can alternate between each side that you push up on first. Doing really well. Again, rest whenever you want to rest. Focusing on your breath. And totally relax. Good. Just curling that lower back. Now we're going to come for some across ankle reaches. So you're going to come up into high plank. You're going to reach the right arm forward and then extend behind that ankle. Good. Seven. Six. Five. Four, and last three, two, and one. Good. And you can just take a little reset after this one, okay? We'll go straight into the other side as I am. Nine, good. eight, seven, six, good. five. Four, three, two, and one. Really strong. Just taking that little reset with the spine. I'm just going to do some mountain climbers. So just focus on landing lightly on your feet. Pushing those shoulder blades away from each other, just staying connected to your breath. Remember, you can rest whenever you want to rest. You're nearly there. Hold on if you can. And totally relax. I'm going to come into some rainbows now. So come to the elbows. Do these little hip lifts, really pushing away through those shoulders, seeing the bottom up to the sky. Really great for the lower core and also the shoulder girdle. Good. Last few. Last one. Good. Totally relaxed. Now we're going to come into those little rainbows with the hips. So dipping those hips side to side. Good. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. And three. Two. One. Have a breather here if you want to. Otherwise carry on with me for that other ten. Doing really well, guys. Nearly there. Last few. That's it. And we're going to relax now. Well done. Okay, look, we're going to get into some oblique work here. So, you're going to come to your side. Choose whatever side feels good. We're going to come to your elbow. Just make sure your elbow is underneath your shoulder, okay? So it can either come in front as I start off here, or it can stack on top. So I'm just picking my hips up to begin with, using that breath, taking them nice and high. We're going to come straight into a hold and then another little pulse from here, okay? So prepare yourself for that. Now we're going to focus on that hold. So just hold here, breathe nice and deeply. Anytime you need to rest, rest. There's going to be a tiny little pulse after this. Hold on if you can. Those hips nice and high. Now we're going to come into the little pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one, well done. Totally relax, let's come to your other side. So either foot is in front or you can just stack it on top of your bottom foot. Start with the hip thrust. Remember we're gonna come straight into a hold after this. And then a final little pulse for 10. Doing really well. Holding, good. Keep those hips nice and high. are about an inch off the mat under the hips and we're just going to straighten the legs and bring them back under into bear so push away through those shoulders the entire time straightening and then bending back into that bear position from here we are going to go into shoulder taps into bear position which is where your knees are bent if that feels too much you can always straighten your legs and do the shoulder taps from there. Okay, so just feel into what feels good for you. Trying to minimize the sway, but as you can see, it's natural to have a little bit of sway as long as your core is really engaged. last few. Remember you can always drop those knees and take a breather whenever you need to. Rest now and then we're going to come and lie on the side for some more obliques. So you can either just focus on the hand just coming up to the legs like this or you can come all the way up and get as high as you can. here for long. We've got another five here. Four. Good. Three. Two. We are going to do a little pulse. And one. Good. So from here, pulsing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So to be relaxed. Well done. <laughs> Just so good. We're going to come to the other side. So, take those legs a little bit out in front. You'll get a little bit more engagement there. Ten. Take it nice and slow. Nine. Eight. Seven. We're just going to come into a series of holds. So just holding for a minute. We're going to start face down. Three sides for one minute. Okay, start either on your elbows or high plank. We're going to hold for one minute now. Good. Just using the breath. Doing really well. I was just kind of counting on my mind here, so feel free to time yourself. Or just stay with me for my minute. Just focus on keeping that core really engaged, not allowing the hips to 
drop too much. Last 15 seconds. Well done. Let's come to your side. Good. Up. Really nice. Last movement, reaching through. Well done. You've gone over 20 minutes, you've done awesome. Totally relaxed, take a few nice deep breaths. Well done, you did awesome. 